the Henry Maxwells have had around about um, 24 hours to, to thoroughly dry. Um, the previous video, um, you know, I went over it quite heavily with um, with alcohol, just trying to trying to lighten the skin, remove all the original dye. Obviously, the original shoe was originally black. But it's wonderful black. You know, I adore the black, but I have another identical pair which are in slightly better condition, so I'm going to be keeping those black. I don't want two identical pairs, so I'm... I'm lightening this, um, you know, the, the, I've, I've removed the polish obviously, then I've gone further than that. I've removed probably about 90%, 95%. I could keep going, I could get 100% of the dye out, but I don't want the, I'm going to do them a, a, a rich sort of antique type of brown. I don't want a single solid colour, I want variations in tone, so I'm actually going to leave some of this, sort of the odd flash of black, and well actually it's not really black anymore, but it's, um, I've got the LED on too light. Let's just turn that no, off. That's far too dark. Anyway, uh, let's just have a little bit of light. Um, yeah, it can bleach it out somewhat, the LED lights. I'm indoors. I'm in the salon, but the salon's closed. Is this the first? No, this is the second day it's been closed uh, due to COVID-19. I'm less than pleased that yet again the business has closed, but um, I'm going to sort of steal myself and come in and at least spend a few hours on the shoes. Under the last lockdown... I did absolutely no shoes at all for 14 weeks. I just, I said, I really could not face it. Couldn't face it. I just dropped one of my little, um, one of my little tools. Let's find out the kill. There it is. Um, I'm very pleased with, um, I'm very pleased with how this. Um, see, the skin with the the original skin looks looks cracked, but it's not. It's the polish that's cracked. And do excuse my sort of rather ravaged looking hands. I've been doing. I've spent about nine hours doing plumbing works today, uh, rerouting the plumbing. I've bashed all my hands up and they're all dry and covered in silicon, so excuse the state of my hands, sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, the skins are kind of, kind of wrinkled. They didn't have a shoe tree that fitted properly. And over years and years and years, the polish shrinks and it has like a concertina effect. It, it makes the vanks, the vamp wrinkle and corrugate. And that's what's caused that. And the, 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 the cracking isn't the skin itself, it's purely the polish. Now, this one, because I've, removed, I've got a better fitting tree for a start, and I've removed all the polish, which has eased the skin up to stretch out. The skin's been able to sort of return to the correct shape without the corrugations that are in the, in the darker shoe. And if we look very, very closely at the skin, it's got very slight wrinkling where the shoes have, have bent during use, but there's no, there's no cracking. So I'm, I really am thrilled. I couldn't be happier that they've turned out this way. What I want to do, because I've, I've spent around about five hours, if I'm honest, um, trying to sort of bring this shoe up to this horrible looking state. I, I agree, it does look horrible, but the skin's dry. Yes, it's been made, it was already dry. That's dry, but it looks lovely because it's covered in sort of plasticky polish, which has just turned to a, almost like a patent effect. It has to come off. Um, you can't you can't polish over that, and you certainly can't wear the shoes when they get to this state. It just the skin's that dry underneath this shiny polish. It's plasticky, and anyway, I need to be able to moisturise the skin. So I've removed the polish, and I've gone one step further. I've taken away the dye purely so that I've, I, I can I can vary the um, vary the colours. Now because I've spent about five hours with a solvent, it's sort of the skin's just very slightly rough to touch. I could quite easily. I could put the moisturiser in, and I could sort of rub that moisturiser, but you know, but quite a lot of friction, and smooth that surface off. What I'm actually going to do is very, very gingerly remove. I'm just trying to decide which of these. That one's way too sharp. That one's way too sharp. I'm just going to give, give the skins. I think that's around about uh, 240. I'm just going to give them the tiniest sort of. Uh, light rubs with a it's an abrasive paper on a on on a, on a piece of wood it's just a a brush um, a, a handle off a paintbrush so um let's have a look yeah if you've seen me do this before you, you won't be that surprised but all i'm doing just take off actually it's taking out a little bit of the color as well that's obviously sort of um, stuck on the surface uh, i can't go over the stitching you know, with this with abrasive paper you cannot go over the stitching, you, you really will destroy the stitching very, very quickly. But um, I'll spend probably about an hour going over this whole surface with this, I'm sure it's 240 grit. 
Um, it's a bit, actually a bit clogged up. Um, I'll probably make another one. And just, you won't really, you won't be able to see that this has been done uh, when it, uh, when the skin's moisturised and re-dyed. But it will just give a better, a better shine, a more intense sort of reflection and gloss, just by removing some, just, just the, you can, you can feel it. It feels just tight. Just that feels a little bit scratchy. That feels a little bit smoother. But I really don't want to sort of overdo it. I'm not trying to rub out cracks like I was on the um, on the George Cleverly. The term I restored very very heavily. You know, they were cut with. Uh, yeah, I think this is eighty grit. You know, they, they were so horribly cut, and it was all the whole surface was completely crunchy. So I, I, I removed the surface with the 80 grit. Then I did one with, which is over there, 120 grit. Then the, I've dropped it again, the 240 grit. And finally the 400. So um, this is all I'm going to do. I'm gonna spend, you know, a good couple of hours, you know, just very, very, very delicately, you know, going over the surface. Um, this is a 400. Um, it's not, that hasn't been finished with the 240 yet. So um, just, I'm just giving you a sense of what's involved. There's not, you know, this will take far, far, far too long to um, you know, to do on camera, and you can't go over the stitching, but you can you can go up to the stitching. If it's on this tool, it's far easier to to, to be accurate. If you've got the paper in your hands, you know, just sort of just just holding it loose like this, it's um, it's easy there. But when you get to the trying to do between the stitching, it's it's a somewhat more difficult. So. Um, I, I generally, um, you know, I've, I've started gluing it. Just I say glue it. It's just I'm using um, double-sided carpet tape, just to just to hold that on. But, um, I'll do the whole. I'll do the whole toe cap, and um, with the what did I say that was? I think it's it, it, let's have a look. It's usually says a bit. The paper's been ripped, so I can't see. But it's either I think that's 240 grit. Feeling it, yeah. You generally get used to the feel of it. I'm sure that's 240. Now, um, the other thing I'm going to do, um, I, I'm not going to do any more of that on, on, on camera. If you want to see me sort of resurfacing um, much more ravaged than this, have a look at the previous films of the 1969 George Cleverly Loafers. You'll see me do this in much more detail. Um, now then, what I will be doing, um, is I've got to take all this grotty sort of, it's, it's acres and acres of polish and sole edging and it's just all horribly built up and um, I'm just going to just tear a little bit of the paper this will take a, probably about half an hour now you have to be very careful with paper as sharp as this not to slip up and touch the actual shoe skin and I don't want to be affecting the maker's um, edging there would have been sort of fine tooling, like little tiny V's all the way around there. But to be honest with you, it would have been done with a fudge wheel, like little tiny, uh, what they call it, like just little, little tiny V's, little tiny notches all around. But it's rather smooth. They've, they've almost worn away, I think, with, with sort of polishing and knocking with the brush. I think that's, yeah, they, they've been lost. So, but what I'm going to do, I just use the edge of my finger to rub across the sole of the shoe and hold the paper with the thumb. So using the, 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 the finger as a guide so it can't sort of accidentally ravage the, uh, the shoe skin. So, here we go. Here we go. It's not very good for my skin, this, you know, the, <laughs> I've got quite soft hands because I am a hairdresser. So. There we go. So, and I'll, I'll do this all the way around. I think that's 80 grit, it's very sharp. And there's a slight difference in there's like a chamfer these are uh, I'm losing the words today sorry I'm a bit tired it's, it's kind of there's a different profile here to where it's there so I'll stop just there there's a flat bit so I'm absolutely strict I'll stop in fact I need my flat tool my hands are a bit clumsy the, 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 the softness of the finger will allow the paper to go round and I do not want to lose that so this, this hard tool will prevent me losing. There we go, you can see that. There we go. There we go. So yeah, I'm just, have I 
I probably pulled it too close to my body and missed it on the camera if I, I can't actually see what's on the screen, sorry. Here we go. And of course I'll, I'll do all of this area, then I'll do, I'll do the heels as well because they're just so bashed about and scratched. But um, heels do sand up rather well. Uh, I need to fold that a bit better. There we go. It, it's awfully um, abusive looking, you know. You, let's have a look. Is there any? Sometimes there's little bits of tooling around here, but not in this case. Um, tiny, tiny little tool marks. I don't want to sand them off if they're there, but they're not in this case. So um, I'm okay just to. Oh dear, the camera's actually in the way, if I'm honest with you. I'm sort of reaching at a strange angle to try and reach the shoe and have the camera in the, uh, in, the in, 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 in the correct place for the camera, of course. So um, most of this will be done off camera. So I'll do the first cut with 80, um, 80 grit. <sighs> See, it's starting to show up the stacking of the heel. But I am, I am struggling with the camera being in the way. And then... Um, I won't do that. You've just seen me do this bit. Um, this it needs doing a little bit better, to be honest with you. But um, just to give you a sense of, uh, and I'll do that. I'll do that because it's a total different profile, and the camera's in the way. So I'll do it off camera. Then I'll use much finer paper. Um, this is two forty, I think. And, um, what have I done? Eighty. Uh, I could do with some one twenty, which, truthfully, I don't have to hand. I've definitely got it somewhere. So I'd do the 120, then this 240. And then finally, do I have any to hand? No, I don't. Um, and I'll finally finish that with 400. So this will be very glossy. And the same with the heel. I'll do 180, no, 80 grit, 120 grit, 240 grit. And then finally, 400 grit. Then I'll re-dye. These, these heels and the edgings will be very, very polished before I apply the dye. So um, it's, I've not made a very good job of this film, to be fair. You know, I'm not really... Uh, I, I didn't come here to, to do a film, but whilst I'm here, I decided to just give it a quick, just a quick go. But I've been sort of you're doing plumbing works at the uh, salon for about nine or ten hours, and I'm filthy and I'm tired. I just decided, I, let's, let's have a good go at this. But the truth is I'm not really very prepared for it, so I've made a bit of a hash of this video, is the truth. But just to give you a sense, you know, I wanted you to see it at these different stages. And I will actually, I'll sit down and I'll, I'll sand the whole shoe very carefully, but I'll, I'll do it with the tools. That one's too sharp. Um, what did I say? 240 grit, 400 grit, get it nice and fine. And then when I've got that all sanded and really looking rather, it'll look very similar, to be honest, um, to, the, to the naked eye, but it will feel just very slightly different. And the next film will be actually dyeing this shoe. And I'll probably almost definitely mix the dyes um, to get the, the sort of totem after. And I want to leave a few of these black sort of nicks and the darker bits down in the broguing. It, it will just give the most lovely patina. It will be brown with deep sort of deep browns and little flashes of faded black. Um, I'm, I'm really quite excited about getting the colour on these. And... Um, but yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to bore you anymore. You know, this is. I'm not making a very good job of demonstrating this sanding technique. I'm not really wanting to sand it. I just want to. It doesn't need sanding. I could get away with just, just you know, dyeing it and moisturising it. But I just want to get a little bit more than by just very, very, very lightly. The tight. You know, this skin. This paper's so fine. You can actually. You can rub your hands with it. It's not. Doesn't doesn't hurt at all. You know, rub my. Rub my. You know, it's. You know, it's it really it's it's a very delicate paper, um, and there would be an even finer one. You know, so it's not the main thing is to, to avoid the um, avoid the stitching. But I'll uh, I'll do the sanding properly. You rather than muttering and mumbling and grabbing for things that are not there. I'm trying to show you, and I haven't even bothered to get half the things, um, half the papers to hand. Um, I, I wasn't planning to do it, so I'm just not very prepared. So I'll stop here, and um, I'll publish this film anyway. I'll let you see it, and. Um, even though I made a bit of a hash of it, and but but, but yeah, I'll, I'll I'll finish sanding off um, off camera, get it really nice, and then the next one will be actually dyeing and trying to get the the base colour in. And uh, I'm I'm so excited about this pair; they really are fantastic.